How's it going, everybody? So, in this video, I'm going to do a introduction to VBits. Now, if you had not had a chance to watch my previous video where I went into uh, end mills, I highly recommend you going back and watching that video. But in today's video, we're going to go over VBits, and here are the notes that I will be going over with you guys. So, let's begin. So, you might be asking yourself, what is the purpose of VBits? Well, VBits are used for very detailed designs. I mean, very detailed designs. Uh, they carve a V into your material, and the ways that you can use a V-bit are for engraving, making signs, decorative accents to furniture, and the, the possibilities are endless. V-bits are also used to create a carving effect or a 2.5D. It's not, not quite 3D, now, if you want to do 3D, look at the or watch the previous video where I go over ball nose bits because those are the best for 3D. But it gives your piece the look of 3D, but decreases the time and effort of doing an actual 3D carve. Now let's talk about angles. So the V bits, the common angles that you can use are a 90 degree bit, a 60 degree bit, and a 20 degree bit. Now, as you can see on this uh, this image here. List a 30 degree bit, but the ones that I have found were 20 degree bits. So, one thing that you need to pay attention to when picking the bit that you want to use is how far that, that V bit is going to go down. So, what it says here is the red circles exaggerated are the outlines of the shape, the blue circle represents the center line of the shape. Using the diameter, angle, and flute length input, the program calculates how deep the blue line, the cutting tip path, has, has to be so that the cutter flute edges will meet the red outlines of the shape. In each case above, the red outlines are the same distance apart and the cutter diameter are the same if the width between the red outline vary, outlines varies, so will the depth of the cut. So pretty much what it's saying is if you need to go down deep into the wood, you don't want to use a 90 degree bit because that's going to widen out the path. So you would want to choose a smaller degree, maybe the 60 degree or even the 20 degree bit. So here it shows you the difference in the plunge rate like I was talking about. The further down you go, the wider that V is going to be. So each one of these was done by the bit to the right. So you got a quarter inch, three eighths, a half inch, so on and so forth. So the further down you go, the wider that V is going to be, unless you're using a smaller V bit or a smaller angle V bit. All right, so now let's go into the different angles. So your 90 degree bit is for, uh, does wider, shallower cuts, it removes more material, and it is great for uh, large signs. Uh, so pretty much if you need a lot of material removed but aren't as worried of, about the detail, the 90 degree bit is your best option. Now the 60 degree bit is for deep, narrower cuts. It's more precise and of a detailed cut. We'll need more passes compared to the 90 degree, but it's going to give you that detail that you're looking for in your uh, project. And then the 20 degree bit is for extreme detailing, but what I would advise you is to be very cautious of the speeds that you use because it is a very fragile bit and it'll dole out really quick. Now, as we were going through all the different degrees bits and showing you pictures, you did if you notice that I did list the shank size plus the cutting diameter. And now the cutting diameter is very important. So if you're going to do like a half inch diameter, that's going to remove more material and be a lot quicker, but it's not as detailed. Now you can do the quarter inch diameter, which is more detailed, but takes longer and takes in more passes, or you can even do smaller than that. But those are the two that I wanted to go over. But I hope you guys found this video informative. Uh, my ultimate goal with these videos is to make it a little bit easier to understand a rather complex concept when it comes to CNC machining. And if you like content like this, 
I highly recommend you liking this video and subscribing to the channel. I also recommend that you go to my previous video where I did an introduction into Inmill bits. Um, both Inmill and V bits are the best or the most common bits used in the CNC world. I hope you guys have a great day.